Peace be to you, dear brothers and sisters. Today we reflect the healing of mother-in-law of Saint Peter. After the healing of a man from unclean spirit in the synagogue, Saint Peter took him to his house. There Jesus found his mother-in-law was with fever. This fever was much afraid by the people because it may create some delirious effect, making people sometimes out of their mind. So people afraid of this kind of fear, this kind of fever at that time. Jesus used the same words to cast out the unclean spirit in the synagogue, here to heal the mother-in-law of Simon Peter. After the healing, the woman got all the strength. The healing was complete. She got up and served them. When God touches human people, when God's word is proclaimed for healing that is always complete that is always final there is nothing left uncleaned here saint luke introduces in his gospel saint peter the style of saint peter saint luke is always first introducing a person, then later speaking about him. Here he introduced Saint Peter and then he will speak about his calling. Similarly, in the Acts of the Apostles, Barnabas was introduced in fourth chapter and then he will be spoken of later. Similarly, Saint Paul will be introduced in 7th chapter Acts of the Apostles and he will be spoken of from 9th chapter. So this is the style of Saint Luke. He introduced in an atmosphere with a miracle. When he introduced any saint, he introduces in the atmosphere of miracle and wonders. So Saint Peter was introduced here in atmosphere of miracle. Faith and discipleship come out of an encounter with a miracle. So when a man encounters miracle, encounters God's presence in a wonder, immediately he responds with faith and discipleship. So this is the mind of St. Luke. So St. Luke introduced a person and the discipleship and faith come out of that atmosphere. So St. Peter was with faith and discipleship. And then the word of God goes, the kingdom of God was established. How a kingdom was established, it is by continuous conquering of evil. Conquering of evil for all, for all men and women, for caste and outcast and poor, lame and blind. So for everyone, for everyone, the kingdom of God is established. It is establishing of kingdom of God was conquering the evil, conquering the devil step by step, step by step at every place. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, every day we are encountered with the miracle and wonders. Every minute is a miracle. Every minute is a wonder. So we have to 
respond to God with the faith and discipleship. So, our, our providence, God's providence to us is always a miracle, is always a wonder. Let us look at the days of ours with faith. The days that passing every day, every 24 hours passing from us is a miracle. So, let us feel that miracle and respond to God through faith and discipleship. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Continue to be with us. Strengthen us, Lord. Lord, you are, you are selected us to be your servants, to be your disciples. Many a time, we ignore the beautiful wonders and the mighty deeds that you are doing in our lives, Lord. The kingdom of God is affected, is achieved by the preaching of the word of God and by the mighty works of God. Thank you, Lord. You have done all these things in our lives. Help us to realize your mighty works in our lives so that we may see you with faith and follow you with a real discipleship. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.